Hi folks, I am Andrean. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to download, install Android Studio. First thing we need to do is to download the Java Development Kit if you don't have it already. So, write in Google download Java JDK. Click on the first result. Accept any license if prompted. Click here download JDK. Make sure you click uh, accept the license and uh, download the one for your system if you're on linux you choose for linux if you're on windows choose for windows after you download it install it click uh, ok on everything it will also install the java runtime environment click ok next uh, what we need to do is to download android studio and uh, in android studio we are going to write our code so write download android studio and um, you should go to uh, the first link you should uh, see a page something like this click download android studio for windows it will take some time because it is one uh, gigabyte but after you've done it run it and you should have the setup going on click next and uh, you want to choose here the Android SDK and you want to deselect the virtual device because we are going to use a better uh, option for this click next click I agree and uh, put it somewhere I like to put them on C because uh, it uh, it it is much cleaner so i put my android studio in c android studio and android sdk location in android underscore sdk click next install now while this is installing uh, let's install our uh, emulator and uh, the most used uh, emulator in android where you can like test your application really fast is uh, Jenny motion so right and um, while this is free you need to create an account so uh, while uh, our Android studio is installing go ahead and create an account in Jenny motion after uh, after that you you want to get Jenny motion with VirtualBox. So just click get. Sign in with your username and password. Now let's install uh, Jenny motion. <coughs> And it will also prompt us to install uh, VirtualBox and uh, VirtualBox uh, network adapters. So you need to install those two. Otherwise, Genymotion won't run without them. When you first um, start any motion, it will prompt you to authenticate. So sign in with your username and password. And you should see now a list of uh, devices. Um, let's just pick... Uh, Let's 
like the Nexus 5X, it should be a good starting point for you. And uh, click next. And it will download it. After it finished downloading, it should appear here at uh, your virtual devices. Select it and you can click the settings uh, button to see here uh, what kind of settings there are. Let's just leave the default ones and just click start. So after it finishes uh, creating this um, virtual uh, machine, you should see uh, here like an Android phone uh, simulator and uh, we will use this one to test our code. You, you can see you can perform different actions like increase the volume, rotate it, um, use a back button, use a tasks button, home button, close it. Basically uh, lots of things that you can do on your phone. Even you have a button here for setting up the GPS. Um, if you want to set it up so it's very useful when you work with applications that uh, that make use of, of GPS functions so let's uh, go ahead and start our Android Studio for the first time it will take some time uh, at the beginning but after that it will go really fast Prompt uh, if we already have a version installed, click no. You want to allow access to internet. And now it will start downloading the latest uh, Android 6.0. In your case it might be higher uh, 6.1, 2, 7, uh, 12. I guess uh, the standard uh, way will be the same now it will show you something like this click start new Android uh, studio project let's call it hello world here you put your company name your name.com as you can see the package name will be created down if you want to edit it click edit uh, this package name will be the last uh, URL uh, part of uh, your app when it's published to the market, so you might want to keep it short. And um, pay attention where project location is. I like to put mine in uh, workspace in uh, C underscore workspace. I don't know why it doesn't. Let me create it, probably doesn't have enough permissions. Now oh, it's already created. Okay. Uh, so I, I like to put them here. Click next. Um, just select phone and tablet, min 15. It's more than enough for most of the applications. Um, select from here blank activity, the first one. Click next click finish now the first time you you start uh, this uh, template project with uh, from uh, from this uh, uh, welcome screen it will take some time it even after it it shows you um, that it enters in it might uh, do some background uh, stuff So here at the bottom you see there is some background job for processes running, grade or build. We will go into them later, but um, have a little patience and let it finish. Uh, and it will take around one or, or two minutes uh, in the first run. While this is indexing and building uh, its database with I don't know what, Let's go ahead and um, 
talk a little about how we can customize uh, this um, ID for better, uh, more efficiency. So uh, one of the most interesting and important things you can do is to download a code style written by some very smart developers and um, <coughs> they made the co code style much more compact and much more easier to be read than the default uh, Android one. So just searching Google Square Hub GitHub Android code style. And um, I'll go to the first link, which is uh, GitHub of the square. And uh, here in configs, you have code styles and square Android. And um, go ahead and download the zip, all of it. And let's put it somewhere on desktop. now you want to copy these two code styles you want to copy them under C users your username and here uh, dot Android your Android version and uh, here in config create a new folder code styles and copy them here uh, by the time uh, I, I did this, it, it already finished the indexing. So uh, what we we have now is a simple template app. Don't worry about it. Just locate this run button here, click it, and it will uh, show you here. Choose a running device. Now because uh, I have this virtual machine, it doesn't allow me to to run any motion. But you. If your Genymotion device is uh, running, you should see it here. Click OK. And after, uh, let's say, 20 seconds, it will appear on your Genymotion here, this template app with just uh, some text and a, a floating button. This is called a floating button. And um, this one here is called a snack bar. But we will go into into them later so it uh, created this uh, hello world uh, application here and install it on your emulator so congratulations this is your first uh, android application even if it's from a template doesn't matter uh, i want to say that uh, it's very hard at the beginning how to get started so i try to make make this tutorial as uh, concise and uh, clear as possible if something went wrong don't give up uh, just persist a little bit more search on Google uh, and try try other uh, other things and uh, if if you reach this step of of writing a hello world application you already uh, did a huge step toward development and in our next tutorials we will go uh, more in details but let us configure this uh, code style that I was talking about. Um, so uh, go ahead in File, Settings, uh, click Editor, Code Style, and here select Square Android and, and click OK. Uh, what other nice configs you can do you can go in settings and uh, in appearance and behavior click appearance and set uh, the theme to Dracula I prefer uh, to use it uh, this Dracula theme because it uh, I like it much more to to have a darker background so my eyes are my eyes feel better but if your eyes feel better with a whiter background uh, use a whiter one thank you for um, finishing my uh, first tutorial on this and 
I hope to see you on the next one.